let's begin with the warm up stand with your legs apart feet parallel to each other stand tall close your eyes deep breathing through both nostrils three times breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out great and let's begin with the shoulder rotation 10 times close your palms make a fist slowly rotate your shoulders 10 times try to get the arms to go up close to the ears more expansion to the chest and down okay reverse please arms down arms backward and up close to the ears 10 times normal breathing okay now front and back crossing the arms forward and backward bringing right hand up once left hand up once right hand up left hand up exhale exhale right now with a deep long breath in raise arms up with a forceful breath out arms down deep breath in forceful breath out three times last one relax good twisting right and left ten times exhale left exhale right exhale left exhale right as you breathe out look back to the left side look back to the right side great take a deep breath again still maintain the feet parallel to each other right hand hold the hip so I'm not doing mirror image so my right my right side is going to be your left side so you do your right side okay now raise your left hand up inhale exhale to the right side inhale and right hand up exhale completely to the left side let's repeat that three times inhale left hand up exhale to the right side inhale right hand up exhale completely left side very nice inhale one more time exhale slightly deepen the arch inhale right hand up exhale and slightly deepen the arch relax good effort now slowly rotate your hips do it in a steady pace concentrate on your body smooth normal breathing okay reverse please as much as you can try to make the circles to your maximum range okay very good deep breath again please nice now let's do this mandalasana please go slow don't hold your breath during the movement interlace your fingers stretching the arms out slightly do a forward fold so it doesn't have to be a deep movement right inhale as we exhale go right side backward left side forward inhale exhale right side backward left forward very good one more round right back left and forward nice relax please take a deep breathing can we do the left side inhale arms up exhale forward then breathe in breathe out left side backward right and forward breathe in breathe out to the left back right forward breathe in breathe out to the left back right and forward relax long inhale and a slow exhale 
Okay, bring your right hand across the chest, left arm, squeeze the right elbow. Try and keep your back straight, please. Gaze straight to the eye, eye level. Then breathe in, breathe out and twist to the left side. Inhale to the front. Exhale and twist to the left side. One more time, inhale. Now you can slightly deepen the squeeze and you twist to the left side. Inhale and exhale. Now arms open wider, please breathe in. Breathe out, left hand to the front. With your right arm, give it tight, squeeze to the left elbow or slightly above the elbow. Breathe in, breathe out and twist to the right side. Breathe in again, breathe out, twist to the right. Let's go one last time. Breathe in, breathe out. Can you slightly deepen the squeeze? Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do another shoulder stretch, please. Right hand rest on the waist, left hand forward holding the right elbow. Slowly roll the shoulder in. Roll the shoulder in, keeping the back straight. So there are two movements you are focusing, pulling it down towards the floor, slowly rolling it in towards the left side, keeping the back straight, breathe in, breathe out and twist to the left side. Come back to the center, breathe in, breathe out and twist to the left side. Gently pull the elbow in. Finish with one last time. Breathe in, straighten the back. See my fingers, how it's pointing back, like that. As you breathe out, pull and elbow down towards the floor. Very good, very good. Come back out to the center. Relax. Try the left side. Left hand wrist on the waist. These are very good stretch for the shoulder joints, upper back. Inhale, tall spine, exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, tall spine again, exhale, twist to the right. Finish with one more time, inhale, and you exhale. Inhale, and relax. Arms holding the side of your waist. Inhale. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale. Exhale to the right side. When you go right side, left shoulder open back. Inhale. Exhale and arch the back. Make sure you breathe out as you arch. Inhale. Exhale to the left side. When you go left, right shoulder open back. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Now when you are folding, try not to hunch the back. Shoulders and elbows squeeze up. One more. Inhale. Exhale to the right side. When you go right, left elbow open. Inhale. Exhale and arching the back. Inhale. Exhale to the left side. When you go left, right elbow open. Inhale. Exhale and fold forward. One more. Inhale. Exhale to the left side this time. Can we go left side? Open the right elbow and shoulder. Inhale. Exhale and arch the back. Inhale. Exhale to the right side. Stay focused with the practice. Inhale, exhale and fold, stretching the calf, hamstrings, glutes, and relax. Great. Now please take two blocks with you. If you have blocks with you, place it like this, with one block flat, one block upright. We are doing a triangle pose. Turn your right foot to the right side, left foot pointing forward. Inhale, open the arms and the chest. Please follow me, breathe in. As you breathe out, right hand on the block. 
stretch your left hand up now elongate your spine to the left side now here we are trying to externally rotate your torso right so before that bring your left hand touching the floor if you can touch the floor as we exhale left hand up and open the chest shoulder back as far as you can can we go again two more times inhale exhale left hand touching the floor try not to bend the knee unless you feel any sharp pain stress to the knee inhale and come up exhale and open the chest shoulder last one inhale exhale and left hand touching the floor again inhale exhale and left hand back left hand back push your hip forward and slowly come back up very good let's go to the left side please turn put the block to the left side your left foot turn out right foot pointing forward ready tall spine inhale elongate your spine as we exhale bend your knee to touch the blocks and then slowly straighten the legs straighten the legs hold it now get ready inhale exhale and right hand touching the floor you feel the stretch in the left hamstring inhale exhale and right hand up right hand back carry on inhale exhale right hand touching the floor inhale exhale no need to look up straight away if your balance is a bit wobbly look straight eye level it's okay last one please inhale exhale right hand touching the floor inhale exhale expand right chest right shoulder right arm don't drop your head neck in line with your spine slowly bend the knee come back out and relax bend and straighten the legs now get ready another one posture hip and hamstring stretch with the blocks take the blocks with you rest your arms straight under the shoulders left leg in the middle now raise your right leg back yes now watch your balance if you feel like placing the arms slightly wider is steady for you please choose that approach now raise your right hip up inhale and slowly drop your right hip down drop the right hip down look to the left side please do this three times raise your right hip up inhale exhale and drop your right hip down but don't bend the knee please keep your knee straight and see how much you are able to drop the right hip lower as much as you can one more time raise the right hip up inhale exhale and drop the right hip down which brings a big stretch to the left to glutes and the hamstrings then slowly come back down deep breathing one time yes like i always say please focus on breaths during the posture between each repetitions breathe once you have finished a pose take do deep breathing now right leg in the center left leg back let's proceed with the hip movement again raise your left hip up inhale slowly drop your left hip down raise your left hip up inhale exhale drop your left hip down and slightly push your hip backward can you push your hip back more one more time raise your left hip up drop your left hip down and can you push your hip back a little further knees are straight thighs are active and come back out this stretch is really good for sciatica pain and people who have tight glutes feeling very stiff with the lower back and the hips this is a very good stretch the one we just did deep breathing one more deep breath let's do one more stretch for the calf and the inner hamstring right see the placement of the block how one is flat one is in a like a slope now rest your left foot on the block 
your right leg step back a bit with your right foot slightly turned in 45 degree angle inhale lengthen up the spine as we exhale slowly bend forward rest your hands on the blocks you can do this here now it's a progressive sequence make sure you are not hunching the back with every forward folds when your target is to stretch your leg muscles try to make the same effort is to keep the back straight now fingertips on the floor now can you try and lift your left hip up roll the right hip forward stretching the hamstrings stretching the calf five four three two one slowly bend the knee come back out bend straight in the legs now try the other side right leg forward left leg back watch your heels now your heels should be in one line right first align your hips facing forward breathe in tall spine breathe out and slowly bend forward resting the hands on the blocks the one on the floor if you are able to go slightly deeper rest your fingertips on the floor stay there good very good effort now try and lift your right hip up pull your left hip forward gently gently no sudden movements no bouncing or shaking movements because your your ankle is going through a big dorsiflexion movement the stretch to the calf and hamstring is quite deep so just go slow and steady three two one and relax come back out bend and straighten the legs relax now let's do one more inner thigh stretching now follow me please come to the left side of the mat left knee down your right foot out to the right side right leg see my right leg how it's pointing up and then slowly and gently slide slide you want to try and keep most of the weight on the blocks right try and stay with the weight resting on the blocks mostly and just a very little weight moving into the stretch make sure the right foot is pointing up towards the ceiling the left foot is pointing out to the left side now please go slow no shaking no bouncing movements yes long and steady breaths can we wriggle your right foot out and can you sink your hips down lower please just enjoy the stretch that you feel in the inner thighs groin area this is really effective for uh, improving your splits the abduction movements of your hip if you're very much uh, you know working on your side splits butterfly frog this pose because you are coming from a kneeling down position this is a very effective uh, approach for stretching the inner thighs can we go a little more sliding the leg out and sinking the hip down sliding the leg out sinking the hip down and one last time sliding the leg out sinking the hip down good well done slowly release your leg knees and feet together take deep breaths first inhale exhale inhale longer exhale longer good let's go R stand on your right knee your left foot pointing up slowly and gently slide your left leg out slide your left leg out keep your left foot pointing up to the ceiling your right foot pointing right side now there's always going to be a difference in your right and left side so pay attention to the imbalance or if you have been doing long enough 
observe the progress you are making with this left and right side balance. Yes, you can just wriggle your foot. That kind of gives out more range to the hip and also it reduces the friction of the heel to the mat. Can you move your right foot, right side pointing up, left foot pointing up. Stay. Like I said, you don't want to be putting all of your body's weight into the stretch now. It will tense your muscle, it will slow your progress. Keep most of it on the arms. Just you need very little effort with putting the weight because the gravity is already in full force. Okay, slowly come back out. Sit on the knees, deep breath again twice. Deep breath again. Put the blocks away. Let's do another one inner thigh stretching practice, right? So follow me. You are sitting on your left foot. Stretch your right leg to the right side. So start from sitting on your foot. Sit on the floor, right leg to the right side. That's it. Now try and sit straight as much as you can. Don't let this hip lock back like this. That's why we come from a sitting, a standing on the knee approach. Let me just demonstrate. If you are coming from a seated approach like this, usually you end up sitting with a hunch, right? Whereas sitting from the knee approach like this, you have this space so you can slowly slide to a straight back. So the approach of the pose changes the outcome of the posture, right? The experience, what you are feeling. So sit straight, roll the buttocks off the floor, keep your right foot pointing up. Can you slowly walk your hands to the right side, both palms on the floor? And slowly bend your elbows to the floor. Stay there. Now it's a progressive sequence. See how you feel if it is too intense at the back of your knee or near the sit bone area, please do gently. And if possible, open the elbows wider, forehead resting on the palms. Or continue to walk your palms to the front as far as possible and get the forehead to touch the floor. Stay there. Be very steady with the approach. Five, four, nice effort. Three, two, and one. Come back out, please. Release your legs. Shake your legs out. Okay, let's approach the other side. Like I said, sit on the knee, step one. Go with me step by step, sit on the knee and then stretch your left leg out, step two, and then slide to the left side, step three. When you go left side, you see, left foot is pointing up, hips slightly rolling forward and slowly bring your right elbow to the floor. Chin forward. Pull your toes backward. If you can, open the elbows wider. Forehead down. If possible, chin to the floor. Slowly come back out. Release your legs. Stretch your legs straight. Come forward to the mat. Bend the knees. Drop your knees left and right. Slow and steady. Can you try this? Knees to your left side. Put your left leg on top, bend your right elbow. 
bend the right elbow. It's a really nice twist, external twist. Inhale and slightly come out. Please try again one more time. Exhale and bend your right elbow. Inhale and come out. Can you walk both hands to your left side? Left side and try to bend your right elbow one more time. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Release your legs. Deep breathing. Now bend the knees. Drop your knees to your right side. Your right leg on top of your left leg and slowly bend your left elbow. Inhale and slightly come up. Can you walk your hands a bit more to the right side? Bend your right elbow again. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands a bit more to the right side. Bend your right elbow again. Okay. Release your legs. Relax. Now follow me. Keep your left leg straight. Right leg over the left leg. Raise your right, uh, sorry, left hand up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Raise your left hand up, twist to the right side. With your left arm, give a nice tight hug to the right leg. Shoulders down, your neck longer, chin follow the right shoulder joint. Inhale and relax. And we go one more time. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale. Left arm, hug the right leg. If you can, left hand hold the right hip and deepen the twist. Twist. See if your right arm can go further behind the hip. Shoulders down. Lift your spine up. Chin to the right shoulder. Inhale and relax. Can we do the other side? Take a deep breath one more time. Right leg straight, left leg over the right leg. With a deep breath, right hand up. Exhale, twist to the left side. Right arm, hug the left leg, twist to the left side. Can we please try again? Inhale, right hand up. Exhale. Both hips are leveled flat on the floor. And every tight hug you give, lift your spine to chin follow the left shoulder. Okay, relax please. Great. We did a hip stretch in the kneeling down approach. Let's try and do the butterfly pose, right? So in the butterfly pose, place your palms at the back, try and sit straight and gently flap your legs. In the butterfly pose, if your feet opens, it's okay. It's a natural anatomical movement. So don't expect the feet to be completely flat and then open the hip, right? Unless you're holding it with your hands. But when you let go, the more you try to drop the knees down, the feet will slightly open out. So don't worry about why the feet is opening up. Ready? Now, arms interlace your fingers, holding the feet. Lift up the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and slowly go forward. See the elbows push your thighs down. Chin forward. Good, one more time. Inhale up, exhale. Elbows, press your thighs down, chin forward. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Elbows, press your thighs down. Now it's up to you. If you are able to walk your palms slowly and gently, 
walk the palms to the front inhale and lift elongate your spine exhale and slowly continue to walk stay there if you can lift your spine again exhale continue to walk and if possible right if there is always going to be a big stretch a bit of compression in the hip and slowly bring your head touching the floor so forehead touching the floor stay for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 very nice come back out release your legs relax now slowly sit on your knees sit on the knees let's do one stretching for the neck and the upper back just I highly recommend this pose no matter any class you do whether it involves inversions or no inversions this is a really good de-stress posture it also helps release tightness in your neck it's also one of the best half inversion posture rabbit pose palms down inhale chest and chin up then you exhale Slowly raising the hips, your chin tucked to the chest, don't move your head, placing the palms wherever you feel comfortable to support the stretch and the breathing. Then let's slowly go back to sit on the legs, don't raise the head. Just rest for a deep breath and let's repeat one more time. See. When you are doing this again, the head can be moved slightly close to the knees. As you tuck in the navel, tuck in the chest, you feel your back, your neck is going through a nice, even, long stretch. Any difficulties in breathing, Slightly go back with your hips and reduce the intensity of the stretch. Go back, sit on the hips again. Don't raise the head. You feel any catch, a deep tightness on the upper back between the shoulder blades or the base of your neck. This can be a, a gentle approach of stretching can help relieve that discomfort, right? Don't make the stretch too intense too quickly and don't hold the breath and try not to adjust your head left or right while holding the pose, right? Interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders, chest and chin up, look up. Inhale, exhale. Relax. Now follow me with this sequence, fingers spread out wider, raise your knees up, let's go to the mountain pose, which is extending the arms, shoulders, back, hips up higher, mountain pose. Then sit back on the legs, forehead down, Namaskar Asana, salutation pose. Inhale and come up, exhale to the cobra. Bhujangasana. The elbows can bend. Elbows are slightly bending. Just go slowly. Chin up. Let's go back. Mountain pose again. Extend your back. Extend your shoulders and arms. Sit back on the legs. Namaskar asana. Salutation pose. Then we slowly come up. You can always go back to lying down flat first. And then lift as much as your hips are still touching the floor. A very small lift, palms are flat, shoulders back. Raise the chin. Down. 
relajas. Slowly come up on the knees, relax. That's okay. Now let's do one more chest opening with the blocks. Please take two blocks with you. Place it flat. We have done this fish pose many times, so you choose the option carefully. Two blocks can be placed flat or one can be kept vertical, but this is going to be challenging, more intense. Choose the option as per your daily practice needs and goals. Bring your legs to the butterfly pose. Lift up your chest, resting your upper back on the blocks. Gently drop your shoulders and arms, head back. Just get the shoulders to drop to the floor, elbows to drop, normal breathing. Extend the chin away from the chest. As we are trying to touch the head to the floor, the same effort can be made to keep your buttocks still touching the floor. No need to just focus only about the head. Make sure the buttocks still touching the floor. Slowly turn right side or left side, sit back up, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms forward, hunch the back, chin to the chest, hunch the back around the shoulders. So let's turn the blocks the other way, lengthwise, like this. You can still use two blocks flat or can go one up vertical, right? You can always choose the lower intensity option first and do once and then if you feel okay with the breath, no pinch in the neck, then come back and raise the height of the blocks. Shoulders drop, elbows drop, chin up, So here in this posture, just keep in mind again one, the first one we did is for the extension of the spine. The second one we did is for the expansion of the chest. Exhale, bend the elbows down. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly turn right or left. Arms forward, hunch the back and chin down. Relax. Sit cross leg, twisting right and left please, three times. Exhale to the right, exhale to the left, exhale to the right, exhale to the left. One more to the right, one more to the left. Okay, let's do one for lower back. Again, your spine has many natural curves, the lordosis and the kyphosis curve. So practicing these postures, focusing on the natural curves of the spine. It's an important approach of these classes when you are doing back focused classes. So in today's practice, we also try and work on our lower back practice. So lie down and then raise the hips up, resting the blocks under the sacrum. There are three options we are doing. Option one, straight legs with your legs apart. This is option one, straight legs with the legs apart. Make sure the shoulders are not lifting. The blocks are literally touching your tailbone. 
as you try and extend the knee straight and thighs active, you feel this natural curve on the lower back. Then if you can, legs together and straighten the legs. Legs together, straighten the legs. If you can, butterfly pose, flap your legs. Gently flap your legs in the butterfly pose without lifting the shoulders. All this will help improve circulation to the upper part of the body and also release tension in the hip joints, lower back area. The last one, it's a progressive sequence. If this is already feeling a bit of big arch on the lower back, just stay here. Others, walk your feet in towards your shoulders. Just grab your ankles, walk the feet in. And it's okay if your knees are not that low, but it is just to stretch your thighs, stretch your hip flexors. And you can feel the arch in the lower back. You can just keep your hands either holding the blocks or holding the hips. And just breathe in and out three to five times. Every breath, just wriggle your toes and get the knees to go down as slow as you can. As much as possible, the hips can stretch. Long inhale, complete exhale. Long inhale, complete exhale. Walk your legs up. Slowly with your arms, lift your hips higher and bring the block hips down drop your knees left and right please just do the left and right movement drop the knees okay let's just continue with one more movement i give you an option you can try keeping the feet parallel and do the bridge pose by locking the arms underneath your back. Right, lift your hip as high as possible. Others, if you can, as we have done good warm ups today, you can try doing a wheel pose, hips up, shoulders up, lift your head up. So you can either do the bridge pose or wheel pose. Extend your arms, shoulders, and the back. Right, choose the option. Can we go again? One last time, breathe in, breathe out. We can do the bridge pose, or you can do the wheel pose. Inhale, exhale. Can you get the arms to squeeze under the back, hips up high? And slowly down. Relax. Now with your arms, gently hug the legs under the thighs. Hug the legs under the thighs. Flatten the back. And slowly roll up and down 10 times, please. Rolling up and down. Okay, sit cross leg, open the knees wider, let's do one lateral stretch, you see my right leg is out, left leg is in, open the knees as wide as possible, let's do one more lateral stretch here, your left arm holding the right knee, then raise your right hand up, inhale, as we exhale, slowly arch to the left side. Hold on to the knee, stretch the right hand up. And we slowly come out, repeat again, breathe in. Breathe out and arch to the left side. Last one more time, breathe in. 
breathe out. Don't let go. You have to hold the knee and arch to the left side. Relax. Great. Take a deep breath twice. One more deep breath. Switch the legs now. Left leg forward, right leg back. With your right hand, hold the left knee. Come on, let's focus on the practice. These are very good neutralizing movement. Raise the left hand up, inhale. Exhale and arch to the right side. Inhale, come out. One more. Exhale and arch to the right side. Keep stretching the left arm away from the shoulder. Inhale and come out. Let's finish with last one more time. Exhale to the right side. But it's slightly lifting is okay. Inhale out. Exhale and relax. Now can we sit in the lotus pose if you can? Right? If you are able to sit in the lotus, try that. Both palms on the floor to the right side. Just palms on the floor. Your forehead or chin to the right leg. Inhale. Can we try the left side? Just see how much you are able to elongate. Elongate forehead or chin to the left leg. Inhale. Both palms on the right side. Now before we were trying to reach for the knee. Now try touch the floor as much as you can. It's not going to be easy because your legs are bound. So just go slowly if possible head to the floor. Inhale up. Try the left side last one. Inhale. Exhale. So try and touch the floor by lengthening, stretching the right side of your back muscles. Right. Relax. Interlace your fingers, arms down. Completely exhale and breathe out. As you breathe in, stretch your arms up. Hold the breath. Breathe out, arms open. Breathe out, stretch your arms down. Breathe in, stretch your arms up. Breathe out, arms open. Last one. Breathe out, stretch your arms down. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, arms open. Great. Bring your right elbow down. Stretch your left hand up. Take it over the head. Chest forward. Take deep breathing through both nostrils three times. Nice effort. Slowly left elbow down, right hand over the head, stretch out the right arm, deep breathing through both nostrils three times. Relax. Now place your palms at the back, try and lift your chest as much as you can. Lift your chest, raise the chin, expand your shoulders out, three times deep breathing through both nostrils. Inhale, 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 relax, right, sit cross leg, 
if your lotus is not very comfortable sit cross-legged let's finish with this alternate nozzle breathing left hand in chin mudra right hand fold your index and middle finger start by closing the left nostril breathe out through the right can you keep your back and the neck straight breathe in through the right breathe out through the left breathe in through the left breathe out through the right right inhale left exhale left inhale right exhale can we try and practice retention holding the breath for five seconds right so follow me you exhale through the right inhale through the right close your nostrils you lock your chin to the chest hold the breath for five four three two one head straight very slowly breathe out left then breathe in through the left close your nostrils chin lock to the chest five four three two one head straight breathe out through the right can we do it couple of more times breathe in through the right close your nostrils chin lock to the chest five four three two one head straight breathe out through the left then breathe in through the left close the nostrils lock your chin to the chest five four three two one head straight breathe out through the right one last round mindful breathing inhale right nostril close your nostrils exhale left nostril inhale left nostril close your nostrils exhale right nostril simply rest your hands on the knees close your eyes just release relax all the tension in your body relax your facial muscles relax your jaws relax your forehead Thank you for attending the class. Hope you all enjoyed the class. See you in another class. Namaste. Have a nice day.